Okay, I'm gonna show you how to delete a folder that you created within QCT. What I'm gonna do, I'm on my QCT screen right now, I'm gonna go into Select Pattern, and I've got a folder right here that I don't particularly care about. I'm gonna go under Patterns, Pantos, and Working Pantos, and Test Folder, and you'll see that it built that, it's called a path name within Windows. Uh, C drive, it, the path is powered by QuillCAD, and then patterns, pantos, working patterns, working pantos. I need to follow that stream in order to get to test folder. So I'm going to do this, but I have to, I can't do it within QCT. I actually have to go out to Windows to get rid of the folder. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to just cancel out. I'm actually going to close down QCT. I don't actually have to have it running. So I'm just going to exit it all together. Um, so I'm on my blank window screen. At the bottom, there should be something that looks a little bit like a manila folder. This is in Windows world called File Explorer. So within File Explorer, I'm going to navigate to that path that I just pointed out within QCT. I'm going to go to, now what you don't see on the screen is the very first thing called this PC. That's something Windows 10 requires. So I'm going to start with this PC. Then, hang on. Within this PC, I'm going to start off with the C drive. That's what I started with. And then I'm going to go down to Powered by QuillCAD. I'm going to double click that. I'm going to double click on Patterns. I'm going to double click on Pantos. And then I'm going to double click on Working Pantos. And so you'll see everything that's been created and you'll see up here where I have Test Folder. At this point, I should be able to click on it and I should be able to hold it. Let's see, I believe I can hold it down. Just hold down on it and click on the word Delete. That should come up as a menu. If you click Delete, the folder goes away. And so that's basically using the Windows method to get rid of folders. So hope you found this helpful.